Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got another one from Louisville Slugger, and this time we have the Scott Hartling America. Hey, we're going to be out there in Cary, North Carolina on Bond Field. It's like 310 and left, 300 and center, 305 and right. Guys, me and Josh and the guys are going to be out there putting some swings on this bad boy. But before we do that, we're going to test it. And at the end, guys, we'll let you know what we think of the bat. So, hey, let's get started. All right, guys, we're going to test the Louisville Slugger. America, Scott Hartland, uh, signature bat. And that is coming in at, jeez, man, 1850, 1900. 1900 is like 320, guys. Yeah, there was way too many balls in center oh, field for my life. AKA one of the hardest balls. <laughs> oh, what was that one? Hold on, let's see if you can. Hit. Don't apologize to the pitcher. He did it. Yeah. He switched halfway through the game because he kept blowing up middle and hitting the gap. Were you feeding in a yeah. two seamer four? Right. They just jump off of that bat, don't they? They do. And it's eight. For me, I get into trouble when I let this lead arm get long. Yeah. That's so I'm trying to. Well, there's a 99. Yeah. And all 100. Yeah. 100. You're only hitting for OMZ. Okay, guys, a little bit of information about the Louisville Slugger America. This is a 13 inch barrel. These come in half ounce end loads. You can order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28. And this features their new uh, technology, which is the Power X Coil technology. And each bat also comes with a removable pyramid grip for you guys that use those. Um, the Power X Coil technology is supposed to be a little bit softer barrel and break in a little bit faster. So let's get back to the video. Eighty-nine cuts. <clears throat> Eighty-eight and your best hit. That bat right there, fucking gas. Well, if you're getting gaps hit on you on a four-man, yeah, you might as well switch up. That was a good hit. That's the only place I could go with it. I sit me rotating on my knee though. All right. Nope, that was good. That was a great swing, bro. Here's the crazy part. That was more end cap, wasn't it? 98. That ball's getting uh -huh. harder, dude. Uh, I hit that one good. The one to uh, left field was 400 foot. What? The one you hit to uh, left field at that. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and scale the Scott Harlan Louisville Slugger. Coming in at 25.4 ounces. In load, 16.3. Well, 16.3. All right, let's get the hand weight. And coming at 8.7 on the hands, guys. And that's with the factory grip. And I do not have, not have the re uh, removable pyramid grip on there, of course. Right field. All right, I'll motivate him. That was 350. Last four balls. I'm all upper body. Mm -hmm. like that. Nice. Nice swing. That was a great cut. That was a great cut. Ooh. 
Ooh, tied your PR. Let's go. Cut. That's over the light. <laughs> Where they hit the light light? Yeah, oh, top. hit the top Damn. of the light. I, I cut it. Like, I feel like I've, I've given you enough footage, right? Alright guys, let's do the final testing on a Scott Harlan bet. Merrick Cole. So, right at 1750, which is 288, right around 285 guys. Drop down from 320 to 285. So there you go. Okay, you need to put it up. Whatever the fuck that was. That was one of that was an NX. Look at that. Yeah, and you'll hit more such a sharper line yep. drive that way. That's money right there. Oh. Did you bring Boo her winter coat? I mean her summer coat. So she can it. I'm good. Pick man up. Yep, yep, do it again. Stay, stay Everything in the pack. Come on. Yep, Ooh. there it is. There it is. Just all the ammo. That was, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That was four. That was 104. That was 420, at least. Ooh. See, I tried to hit that one harder, and it was only 100. I that hate was, you. That was all right, guys, you saw I was just finished up swinging the Louisville Slugger America 2.0, the Scott Harling signature bat. First things first, let's go to the weighting real quick. 16.3 on the N, 8.7 on the hands. Uh, it's a good weighting, guys. I will put it this way. Not a big inload, but it's got enough inload to drive the ball, but it's also a less of an inload to really be able to manipulate this bat. So you, you sometimes you get a bigger inload or something, and the, ball, the bat will just kind of swing you sometimes. With this bat... You can just drive the ball, hit your holes, hit your gaps, and still have enough to drive it real quick. Now, as far as sweet spot, it's the whole barrel, guys. Um, you, I've never really felt like I ever got rung up on Louisville Swaggers. I don't ever remember that. Um, but they do have a different feel to them. They have a crisper feel with more pop. Um, these barrels are definitely a little bit softer than the previous models, but they do have a stiffer feel. They got a little bit more pop to them, a more, little bit more crisp feel to them. Whereas you have like the, I don't know, like the softer Eastons that kind of trampoline and are super soft sometimes. And I'm gonna tell you this guys, this is the one thing I, I will tell you. Um, went to a tournament in July or August watching some guys play. And the one thing I was watching, I was watching all the different bats and watching all the different guys hitting. And I'll tell you this man, in the heat, these things perform because I'm just telling you they perform really well. Um, but guys, you can pick these up at sluggerslowpitchdisc.com. They'll be on sale uh, January the 17th. So you can pick these up. Use my discount code FGBP to save yourself about 20%. But um, guys, you want a bat that's got a hot ass barrel. It's got enough butt here to drive the ball. And you got it, and it's got it is still enough to where it doesn't swing you, and you can you can manipulate the bat enough to put it where you want it. You can go backside, gap, five, six hole, whatever, and then blow it out of the park. This is your bat. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, reach down here, hit that subscribe button. And hey guys, if you want some notifications, hit the notification button so you'll know when one of our videos are out. And also, if you like the video, hit the like button. It helps us out, okay? I'll talk to you later.